mboga zaidi Tobias Chanji KT News kaunti ya Kwale Katibu wa Idara ya Wakenya wanaoishi mataifa nje katika Wizara ya Mambo ya Nje Rosalind Jogu amewataka jamii ya Wakenya wanaoishi nje ya nchi kuwekeza katika ujenzi wa makazi ya bei ya chini akizungumza wakati wa zinduzi wa mradi wa mamilioni ya fedha wa ujenzi wa makazi ya Wakenya 300 wanaoishi ughaibuni katibu njogu alisema kwamba serikali imeweka ahadi ya kushirikiana na Wakenya wanaishi na kufanya kazi ughaibuni kuwekeza humu nchini mradi huo unamilikiwa na Wakenya waliokuja pamoja kupitia kikundi la wawekezaji kwa jina Jambo Diaspora ambao wanajijenga makazi katika mtaa wa Kitisuru Nairobi. Mwenyekiti wa kundi hilo Felis Wambui amesema mradi huo ni mfano wa Kenya wengi wanaoishi na kufanya kazi ughaibuni kuigwa na unazuia wa Kenya hao kulagaiwa na madalali. That we can do it. We can invest in Kenya because we have to. Is the west home is the best. It is safe and extremely profitable to invest here in Kenya call upon our brothers and sisters in the diaspora to form purposeful groups that not only connect them to their roots but also allow you to do more back home on this i look forward to your next project i am told it will seek to amplify his excellency president william ruto's affordable housing initiative um by building houses that are targeting lower income earners which is in line as you know with our bottom up economic transformation agenda so i welcome that opportunity and we look forward to seeing how we can work with you um on that particular project tulekea katika county ya kakamega ambapo tume ya maadili na kupambana na ofisa ya ccc